Now, Doctor, it's amazing to me that Doctor Phil still listens to our program because you know every now and then, uh-huh. I believe that we poke a little fun at him. Well, you know, he's been in the spotlight. He's being criticized for his his eating program because. You can buy it in the grocery store, and all the formulas, he says, one's for apple shape, pear shape, different shaped bodies. It's the exact same stuff in a different package. I thought maybe he was criticized because he's overweight, oh. and people look at him and go, well, why am I going to listen to that, that guy? That, too. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Phil. How are you? Hey, congratulations on your sweeps ratings. Well, I appreciate that, but I'm not calling to talk about me. I'm calling to talk about you. Well, that's bizarre. I heard yesterday you were discussing on air... Your policies as relates to your car and inside the vehicle. Well, there's a, a you know a two item carry on rule when you go in my car. Uh, I can't stand a water bottle or anything rattling or rolling around, and trash in the car drives me absolutely nuts. Now, when you say two carry on rule, what exactly do you mean by that? Pardon me while I make some notes. Uh, I mean, and, and by the way, some people might agree with me. I don't like it. For example, if you, Dr. Phil, had a newspaper, a bottle of water, and a coffee, one item goes in the trunk, which is it going to be? <laughs> now, the other you, two can come with us in the front. Now, do you find that you've got these stringent and somewhat rigid rules and policies as relates to other areas of your life? Um, Hang on for a second. What's that mean? <laughs> are you like that throughout your yeah. whole life? Yes. You are. Mm-hmm. Well, let me... Uh, Bring the bad news, you suffer from adjustment disorder. <laughs> adjustment. Which is a reaction to a stressful event or circumstance that cause significant distress or impair social relationships. And I think the change in your work schedule and the intense hours that you're on the job are manifesting themselves in these somewhat bizarre, <laughs> and i got to say really wacko rules about your car. Are they control issues, Doctor? They certainly are that, and I bet it makes it difficult for those who have the misfortune of having to interact with you (laughs) to have to be in that automobile. So I'll say to your girlfriend, Shanna, if she ever gets too uptight about all this, she knows Dr. Phil does have an open-door policy. That's at your studio there? Well, there, too. (laughs) (laughs) I'd be happy to treat her. I'm sure you would. Good luck with your condition. You'd like to rub that slick, bald head all over, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah.